Hi Pisces, thank you for being here with me. It is Thursday today and it is um, actually 12.01 a.m. here in Texas and it's December 1st today so we're on the countdown to Christmas. December 1st, 2022. So let's see what's happening in your energy today, Pisces. I'm just going to shuffle the cards a few times. Let's see what's going on. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What's happening with Pisces? Okay, I'm going to shuffle two more times. All right, let's see what your tarots are today, Pisces. You have the you have the Two of Wands. It's your very first card. The Knight of Wands. The Eight of Cups. Sun flew out of the deck upside down. This is Leo energy. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? You have the King of Cups in the center of your reading. And then you have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Six of six of coins, so the six of pentacles and the six of cups. And your last card. Is the moon. This is your energy Pisces. It's Pisces and cancer energy on the bottom of the deck. You have the hangman. Pisces energy again and the three of coins. <clears throat> all right, Pisces, let's clarify and find out what this all means. Let's shuffle two more times. All right, let's see what's going on here, Pisces. Why is the two of wands here? There seems to be some type of a conflict here, Pisces, that you're in your head about. And you're wondering, you're feeling blindfolded. King of Swords is here. You could be dealing with an air sign for some of you. But I'm, I'm seeing you here, Pisces, there, there's an argument or some, some type of a conflict here that happened that has you standing at a crossroads with the two of wands, wondering, you know, well, where is this going? Because I see you here 
in your thoughts. These swords are your thoughts and you're blindfolded and you feel like your hands are tied here and you're not really sure what's going on. There's like this conflict or an argument here. But I'm feeling like um, there was messages going back and forth here with this person. And I want to clarify the King of Swords here, Pisces, before I speak about him, because I'm not sure what he has to do with this whole situation. But I feel like you were having conversations with someone. Everything was going great. And um, all of a sudden this conflict arose, which I'm not sure what that conflict is yet, but it could show us as we go through the reading. Why is the King of Swords here? That is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Magician. And the Fool. The Lovers. Gemini energy there on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with any sign, but I'm just going to tell you the ones that are really standing out to me here. We have Aries with the Fool. Hold on a second, Pisces. Your reading's kind of complicated today. I'm feeling like there's there's someone here that was manifesting you. They were up in their head about you, and um, up, up in their head about you know approaching you. This is a connection with a person here, and. Then I see, you know, there was messages going back and forth, but for some reason this has led to you being at a crossroads. All right, and then we have the Knight of Wands here, and the Knight of Wands can be an energy that of someone who's not, you know, all the way in it. They could be there one minute and then be gone the next minute. So let's see what this person did. We have judgment. Three of cups. And we have the nine of cups. I really think this Knight of Wands that you're dealing with, Pisces, is someone who is a bit of a player. They like to have fun. They're, they never really have an exact plan. They appeared to you like like they were straightforward. They had a they had a plan. They knew which direction you were they were going in, but now I'm seeing this person is like a totally different energy. So there's a shift in their energy here. And um, they could drink a lot when the Nine of Cups shows up or do something selfish. They do something excessive. Like, again, the Three of Cups, like going out drinking, having a good time. And then we have judgment here. So this is your judgment call here, what you're going to do, because I kind of feel like somebody just kind of flaked they just they just kind of took a leap of faith here in a different direction even though everything was going great between the two of you it's like all of a sudden they they turn and they walk the other way with the eight of cups and I'm feeling like this is them walking away but we're going to clarify it why is the eight of cups here You may have been dealing with a Leo. We have strength here. Wow. 
wow, really? This person just walked away from everything. They walked away from the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This could have been a marriage. This could be someone that you were married to, shared a home with. Or this could have been like a new love, someone that just entered into your life. It could go either way for um, for whoever put that energy where it belongs because this is a general reading. But it's showing up as it's difficult on your side, Pisces, because I feel like you thought everything was okay back here. The energy this person was showing you, it was okay. And then all of a sudden they walk away, which is what the Knight of Wands does. They, they come in and out of your life, and that's what I'm seeing here. And then the next card you have here is you have the sun in reverse. It's a very shifty energy with um, this person that we're seeing today. Why is the sun in reverse? See, it's something that you thought um, you thought was happiness, and then it's gone. And the sun is in reverse. The Page of Swords is here. I, that's you standing there like, what happened? The Page of Swords is a student. That's you wanting to find out what happened here. We have the Ten of Wands. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Because I feel like you you were having fun laughing and talking with this person if this is someone that wasn't in your life very long even if it was that marriage card it was someone that you had a good time with someone that you felt comfortable and they just walked away i see it again here and so it's kind of got you gloomy feeling down and looking for you know why'd they do this and then we have the ten of wands here so um it's a heavy energy. They could have done this more than once, Pisces. They, whoever this person is. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. You could have invested something with this person. You could have um, invested money or time. I see time for sure. And, um, again, they just walked away. Kind of seeing like a little, like a snakish type of energy here. Why is the Page of Swords here? be an age difference between the two of you the hermit and the star see I told you that page of swords is you you're you're in this healing energy Pisces and you're an old soul this is Virgo energy and there's that snake I told you I was feeling a little bit of a snake in the snake in the energy here there it is you see it you're looking right at it shining the light on whoever this is all right and then in the center of your reading here you're showing up i believe this is you the king of cups why is the king of cups here we have the two of swords the four of cups And temperance, Sagittarius energy. The King of Cups, Pisces, this is you. Um, all loving, giving, kind, you know, heart, 
a heart of gold. And um, I'm seeing that you're finding peace here with this ghosting because I see someone here, whether it's ghosting, someone here that, you know, you offered them this cup. The King of Cups is you. There you are holding your cup. You offered it to this person. They ignored it. They missed an opportunity with you. And I'm seeing you here, you know, coming to peace with this. I feel like it's kind of hurtful. I don't see like a lot of really harsh, hurtful energy here though. So for a lot of you, this is someone that you haven't known for that long. But it kind of leaves you here, you know, like um, wanting to protect yourself with the Two of Swords. Putting up. These swords are like over your heart space, so kind of becoming closed off and backing back up into the hermit mode. And then we have the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Okay, we have the world, the three of wands, and the six of wands. Some of you are, um, are very, very, very spiritual. You're showing up here as the Hierophant, so you're very spiritual. And um, there's something here that, that I see you waiting for with the Three of Wands. You're waiting for something to happen. Um, like there's a new ship coming in the door. And the energy is kind of changing direction here to something that you're doing online. And I keep seeing this for Pisces a lot. With the world, it could be something you're doing online that you're waiting to happen. And here it is. It's here for you, Pisces. It's coming into your energy. This is victory, success, crossing over the finish line. And I'm going to clarify that because I, the next card I have here is the Six of Pentacles. So I'm seeing financial gain coming into your energy here. And I see you investing in yourself and there's a big payoff here. Why is the Six of Wands here? Okay, so we have the moon in reverse, the queen of wands, and yeah, it's like I see you here healing your heart, because I feel like, feel like you've been hurt, you know, so much in your past that you're really putting up walls and defenses over your heart. It's like you're... You're standing in front of a doorway here and not letting anyone in. And I see you here. It's like the moon is in reverse. So there's something here that is being reversed in your energy and you coming out of um, a sad place and being too much in your emotions and um, becoming this this queen of wands and this is male or female energy i see you here like really standing out in a crowd as the queen of wands you're on fire and um going after what you want pisces you're really going directly inward here so um cm the next card we have is the six of pentacles Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? We have the Five of Swords. The Hierophant again, this is you showing up as the Five of Swords. 
you were on fire here, Pisces. The King of Cups again. This is this is financial gain. This is equal give and take. Scales being balanced. I feel like um, something's going in your favor here, Pisces, in a huge way. The Hierophant and the King of Cups. The Hierophant uh, is like a committed relationship. And I'm seeing you being very committed to yourself and investing in yourself because the King of Cups is you. So you investing in yourself here and kind of on your own little island for the time being and um, making things happen. And the, I see huge things happening here. It's um, the five of swords here is you're, um, you're like sending energies away that aren't meant to be in your energy that could pull you down in some way. You're not letting them affect you. You're like holding the sword of victory here with the five of swords. And we have the six of cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? We have the Two of Wands. Okay, so we started off the reading, if you remember, with the Two of Wands. It was your very first card. And here I see the Two of Wands again with the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups in this message here is your soul this is you standing here at a crossroads because you are fulfilling some type of soul's purpose a, a soul's contract you found the right path and i want to see what the significance of the two of wands here is because this is like coming up with a plan okay which way to go next or what's going to happen next? Why is the Two of Wands here? Ten of Cups. So you just want to be happy. Which direction is going to lead me to happiness? This is happily ever after. And you again. The High Priestess is you. Use your intuition, Pisces. And there you are. Hangman. I'm wondering if you're doing some if you're doing something here, Pisces, where there's like some type of a self-sacrificing energy here. Why is this hangman here? Six of Cups in the Tower. See, remember we were clarifying the Six of Cups. Your soul's purpose. This is your soul's purpose here. This is very important. And we have it again here, the Six of Cups, your soul's purpose. And um, there's like a self-sacrificing energy here. There's a tower. There's something here that you're not expecting that's going to happen. It just comes out of the blue here, Pisces, and it could have something to do with your family or your home. I want to clarify this Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, there's something here, I mean, absolutely blowing up with your money, Pisces, or your stability. I mean, it's going to come in quick. It's going to come in all of a sudden. You could be an entrepreneur here. Um, I'm seeing, like, with the Page of Pentacles, like, there's a message or something you'll be receiving that you're not expecting. And um, I'm seeing here that you've been moving into calmer water. You've been 
in this boat moving into calmer water and feeling very exhausted very tired you could be working a lot but this is going to change like i see like a complete life-changing energy and look at how green these cards are pisces you're about ready to reach the other shore and then we have you here showing up the moon the moon energy is you you're showing up all over your own reading here, Pisces. You're trying to speak to yourself. Why is the moon here? My cards keep falling out on the bottom. You're going to have it all, Pisces. I mean, every everything is here. The Empress is here. So I'm feeling like whatever you're investing in, whatever you're doing here, as this entrepreneur some of you are owning your own business not everyone but um a lot of you are and whether you are whether you're not there's a lot of financial gain showing up here i mean look now you have the empress this is where you're you put out some seeds there maybe online or something and um your money's kind of working for itself i feel like like with without much effort and then i'm seeing this a, a love coming into your life and this person may be a cancer they don't have to be or they could have cancer on their chart um or gemini here but i'm seeing um you here with someone else here with the ten of pentacles like this is a marriage this is this is um, someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with, this person coming in. So this self-sacrificing energy is showing up here as your last two cards of your reading. There's something here where you're self-sacrificing as the hangman. And you're, it has to do with work. And you could be doing this for your family. You're building something here. You're... You're giving of yourself, and it kind of puts you in an uncomfortable position. And with the chariots energy, too, it's an energy of you stepping out of your comfort zone. And um, having it all, Pisces, you're going to have it all. The Ten of Pentacles is here. I see marriage. I see love. I see two people that are going to be together forever. I'm seeing your money just not having to worry about it, just being able to sit back and relax. That's what the Empress does. The Empress is Taurus energy, by the way. But, um, wow, I love your reading today, Pisces. So whatever it is that you're going through right now that is, that is difficult here with strength, trust me, it's for a reason, Pisces. Just um, keep going, keep moving on. Trust your intuition because what you're moving towards here is you're moving towards a, your wish fulfillment. Whoever is here that's kind of a snake, they're not meant to be. They're not meant to be in your energy anyway, Pisces. All right, spirits' advice for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? You have believe in the impossible. And look at that card. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Once in a blue moon. And it's all yours. And the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. So something that you're working on, something that you're doing here, Pisces, I'm seeing it gaining momentum, gaining speed. And then you have nothing will come of this situation. And that is a difficult situation here that's showing up at a, as a person in your energy here where, like I told you, it's difficult for you right now. Nothing will come of that situation, but the energy is gaining momentum for you yourself to move forward. And emotions are running high, super moon. 
All right, Pisces, and um, let's ask a question of your angels and see what your angels have to say. Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Are you ready, Pisces? Look at that. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. And then the answer is no for someone. All right. And then um, on the bottom of the deck, you have improving health. So if you're not feeling well, I see health is going to improve. I'm feeling like it's um, going to be be a better position than what you think it is with your health all right pisces i love you guys thank you for being here with me thank you for liking subscribing and donating to the channel and all of your support and your comments and um i will see you tomorrow pisces namaste